In this lesson, you're going to learn how to factor a difference of two squares. So what exactly is a difference of two squares? Well, difference means you're subtracting and you have a perfect square minus a perfect square, meaning something times itself minus something times itself. And the way you factor it is in this sum and difference pattern, meaning like you're adding here, you're subtracting here, or vice versa. You could do a minus b and then times a plus b, either order. But the key thing is to recognize that it's a perfect square minus a perfect square. And then when you take the square root of this first quantity, that's going to be your a value. And when you take the square root of the second quantity, that's going to be your b value. So we're going to go through 10 examples, and I'm going to show you how this works. But before I do that, sometimes students say, well, you know, Mario, why does that work? Well, let's just say we distribute a times a is a squared, a times negative b is negative ab, b times a is positive ab, and b times negative b is negative b squared, and see how the ab and negative ab cancel, and we're left with a squared minus b squared, which is what we started with. So let's look at the first example, x squared minus 100. Well, when I take the square root of x squared, you see how I get x, and when I take the square root of 100, see how I get 10, and now one of these we're going to be adding, one we're going to be subtracting. You can always check your work by foiling it out or multiplying it out, and you'll get back the original. Let's go to number two. What do you think for this one? 4y squared minus 25. So what I want to do is, is this a perfect square? Is What times itself is 4y squared? That's going to be 2y. What times itself is 25? That's going to be 5. And I just make one of these adding, one subtracting. And you got it. How about for number three, d squared minus 1? Well, a lot of times students don't realize that 1 is actually a perfect square. 1 times itself is 1. d squared, that's just going to be d times d. And one of these is adding, one subtracting. I could make this minus and this plus. It doesn't matter either way. For number 4, this one's a little bit more challenging because we have some more variables in here. What times itself is 16y squared? That's going to be 4y times 4y. What times itself is 49z squared? That's going to be 7z and 7z. We just make one of these subtracting, one adding, or vice versa. Now let's try number five. We've got e squared minus 36. Okay, what times itself is e squared? That's e. What times itself is 36? That's 6. We make one adding, one subtracting, and you got it. Let's go through 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, these last five problems really quickly. Pause the video, see if you can do these on your own, and we're going to go through them together. So were you able to get those five right? What I want to show you in the next lesson is a complete picture of factoring polynomials completely. It's going to have all different types. So if you really want to test your factoring skills, follow me over to that video right there. I have a free worksheet in that video to you know, give you some practice where you can print it out and work through them. And then you can look at the video and you know, go through it and see how you did. So follow me over to that video and I'll see you there.